The president's anger was obvious the minute he marched into the Rose Garden. I walk in to look at people that had just said that I was doing a cover-up. I don't do cover-ups. He had just blown up scheduled talks on infrastructure with Democrats after hours earlier the House Speaker accused him of hiding something. We believe that the President of the United States is engaged in a cover-up. Sources tell CNN Trump erupted when he heard Pelosi's claim, but told his aides not to cancel their meeting. I came here to do a meeting. Instead, sources said Trump entered the cabinet room without shaking a single Democrat's hand and lashed out at them as he declared he won't work with them until their investigations are over. I told Senator Schumer, Speaker Pelosi, I want to do infrastructure. I want to do it more than you want to do it. But you know what? You can't do it under these circumstances. So get these phony investigations over with. Democrats said they were shocked by the president's behavior. To watch what happened in the White House would make your jaw drop. But they voiced skepticism that this was all last minute. It's clear that this was not a spontaneous move on the president's part. It was planned. The Senate Minority Leader pointing to this sign printed and posted on the presidential lectern as proof that Trump staged the whole thing. When we got in the room, the curtains were closed. And of course, then he went to the Rose Garden with prepared signs that had been printed up long before our meeting. Pelosi suggested Trump used her comments as an excuse to get out of finding a way to pay for a $2 trillion infrastructure plan. Hello, there were investigations going on three weeks ago when we met. And he still met with us. Despite the showdown, Democrats say the investigations will go on. This president is obstructing justice and he's engaged in a cover up. And that could be an impeachable offense. Talks in Washington about impeachment have intensified in recent days and clearly rattled the president. The I word. Can you imagine? Today, the House Speaker left it at this. I pray for the President of the United States, and I pray for the United States of America.